Good afternoon, young people. Grass Whisperer here, Troy Bishop. So I set this up as an illustration for the dilemma that most of us have in the spring and when to start grazing. It's April 8th. Uh, supposed to be getting some snow on Friday, maybe. But every year we guess when we put them out or we plan and try to make the keep make the best of it and keep the forage vegetative and feed some cows. So the dilemma has always been you got orchard grass over here, bunch grass. It always when it's fully rested over the winter like this, it really takes off. So we've got five to six inches of grass over here. And then you have bluegrass and rye grass and a little bit of clover and earthworm castings and basically nothing. So you got this sort of this bunchy, you know, this low growth and then you got these bunches here. And, and so what we'd love to do is have the cows, put the cows out and let them eat just this, and then they wouldn't eat this. So that's not usually how cows operate. They like this tender young grass, and they might eat a little bit of the tips. So what we have is a, an unevenness. And so the question is, is, should we let this grow up to 12 inches so the leaves are really tall, and then let this get up to four or five inches or should we let this grow up a little more and gr let this grow up so I'm hoping that timing with the cows moving quickly that they'll only take a bite of this and take even less of this so that's always the trick is do we have s smart animals that'll take what we want and um, leave what we want no so that's always the struggle it's always the balance but what I can say is I've got 20 fields, there's 100 acres on this farm and the fields that had the most rest are way ahead of the fields that didn't have as much rest in the fall or they got grazed later. So there's already a stagger, a, a stagger or a stair step of grass growth. and. So if I let this grow at 12 inches and let this come up six inches, then by the time I get around the farm with the cows that I have, um, I'll have hay. And so, you know, starting early is a strategy. Once this gets up and you start to see the weather ahead, we can actually plan a graze. So we limit how much they can take down. We just want them to take one bite of this maybe a bite of that and move off. So they're basically racing around the farm, getting this down a little bit, a one bite graze, cream grazing, moving quick. Um, so this can all be planned out. And so I took pictures of the farm um, yesterday. Uh, so you can see every field and what the residual is that I'm looking at. So I'm going to develop a grazing chart based on what you see and what I see of my camera and then I'm going to try to post that right along with this video and try to follow what actually did happen because everyone is in the same dilemma that I've heard. Milk prices are bad, um, beef price ain't much better and feed at the farm is getting low. So people want to get their animals out. So um, let's be smart about it and so, so we can weather the storms and the viruses and everything else. So 
Let me roll on out of here and do the worm shuffle and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit us on Facebook at CCE Madison or online at madisoncountycce.org.